Year 11, Factorising Quadratics. Let's have a look at question 1. Factorise p squared plus 6p. The same in both of these will be p, so we take that out. And the only way we're going to get p squared is if we multiply p by p. And the way we're going to get 6p is if we multiply p by the number 6. Remember to move your answer to the dotted line because that's where the examiner will be looking for it. Question 2. Factorise x squared minus 10x. Once again, there's a letter in both of those that can be factored out, which will be x. x multiplied by x will give me the first term x squared and x multiplied by minus 10 will give me the second term minus 10x. So in factorised form, that would be x times x minus 10 in brackets. Question 3, factorise x squared plus 6x. Once again, there's an x in both that I can pull out. The only way I'm going to get x squared is if I multiply x by x. And the only way I'm going to get plus 6x is if I multiply x by the number 6. So that's x times x multiplied by x plus 6. Question 4. Factorise 3y plus y squared. This time the letters changed. So it's y that's in both. Again, there are no numbers. The only way I'm going to get 3y is if I multiply y by 3. And the only way I'm going to get y squared is if I multiply y by y itself. So in factorised form, that's y times 3 plus y. Let's look at the next question, number 5. Expand x plus 5 in brackets multiplied by x plus 8. Again, I can take the x and the plus 5 out separately. So it's x and then the plus 5, and I can repeat the x plus 8 twice. Expanding the first bracket gives me x squared plus 8x, and expanding the second bracket gives me plus 5x plus 40. Now this middle bit here will simplify, so the final answer will be x squared plus 13x plus 40. So that's x squared plus 13x plus 40. Part B is factorise x squared minus 5x minus 14. Now I need to find two numbers when added will give me minus 5 and two numbers when multiplied will give me minus 14. The only two numbers that will do that are going to be the numbers minus 7 and plus 2. So in factorised form, I've got to have two brackets because it's a quadratic, an x in both, and the numbers I've discovered in each of those brackets, minus 7 and plus 2. So it's x minus 7 multiplied by x plus 2. Factorise x squared plus x. Again, this is slightly different. Although it looks like a quadratic, it actually isn't. So I can only pull out a letter, which is x. The only way I'm going to get x squared is if I multiply x by x. And the way I'm going to get an x by itself is if I multiply it by 1. So in factorised form, it's x times x plus 1. The next question, part b, is factorise y squared minus 2y minus 35. Once again, this is a quadratic. I'm looking for two numbers that when added will give me minus 2. And the same two numbers, when multiplied, will give me minus 35. So, thinking of the numbers that multiply to give me 35, I've got 7 and 5. 
The only way when added I'll get minus 2 is if one of those numbers is a negative. So if I take minus 7 and multiply it by plus 5, I know I'll get my minus 35. And when added, I will get my minus 2. And I can check that using a number line. Now, unusually, this is different from the other one because I don't have an x. I actually have a y. So it's y that goes in the beginning of both brackets. And the numbers minus 7 and plus 5 go as usual in each bracket. Now, it doesn't matter which order you put these in as long as you do have y minus 7 and y plus 5. Question 7. Factorise x squared plus 2x minus 15. I'm hunting for a pair of numbers again. This time they need to add to make plus 2 and multiply to make minus 15. There is only one pair of numbers that will do that. The clue is always look at the minus 15. Ignore the minus. What numbers make 15? It's 3 and 5. And the only way I'm going to make plus 2 is if I have a plus 5 and a minus 3. Because when I add those, I end up with 2. So in factorised form, it's going to be an x in both brackets. And then the numbers will be plus 5 and minus 3. So x plus 5 and x minus 3. And that gets me two marks. Next question. Solve. So the first thing I need to do is multiply out each of these brackets, giving me 8x plus 4 equals 6 minus 2 x. Now I've got to look at the algebraic terms and decide which is the smallest. Is it 8x or is it minus 2x? Well I know minus 2x is smaller than 8x so I've got to do the opposite. The opposite of minus 2x is obviously to add 2x to both sides because we're balancing the equation. That leaves me with 10x plus 4 equals 6 now, the opposite of plus 4 is obviously minus 4 from both sides again, giving me 10x equals 2. Divide both sides by 10, and the answer is x equals 0 0.2, because 10 divided by, sorry, 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2. Part B, factorise fully. Now, this time I've got to look at the numbers as well as the algebra. The number that I can pull out as a factor in both of those will be the 2, and the letter is p. The only way I'm going to get 2p squared is if I multiply 2b by p itself, and to get minus 4pq, I've already got the p and I've got a 2, so I've got to multiply it by minus 2q, and that's completely factorised. If I'd just taken out the number and left the letters, I'd get one mark, and vice versa, if I'd just taken out the letters and left the number, I'd get, again, just the one mark. I wouldn't get both of them. Part C, factorise x squared plus 7x plus 6. So I'm looking for a pair of numbers. When added, will give me 7. And when multiplied, will give me 6. The only numbers that will do that is obviously 6 and the number 1. So in factorised form, again two brackets, I've got to have the plus 1 and x plus 6. Question 9. Factorised, again it's a quadratic because we've got a squared, an x and a number. Again I'm looking for two numbers. This time when I add them I need to get minus 7 and when I multiply them I should end up with plus 12. The only pair of numbers when multiplied will give me plus 12, but when added will give me minus 7 means I need to have two negative numbers. On this occasion it's minus 3 and minus 4. So in the brackets we'll go x minus 3 and x minus 4. 
I need to put them onto my dotted line. Question 10. Factorise x squared minus 2x minus 15. Two numbers, when added, need to give me minus 2. And when multiplied, should give me minus 15. Again, looking at the 15, ignoring the minus, I know it's going to be 5 and 3. To get minus 2, I know I'm going to have to have a minus 5 and then a plus 3. And you can always check by using a number line. So factorising completely, I need to have two brackets, a minus 5 in one of those and a plus 3 in the other. So I end up with x minus 5 and x plus 2. 